In today's video, we will be sharing clips from two different days of our experience at a beach we were recommended to check out that was said to be a great snorkeling spot. And it did not disappoint. It's a 10 to 15 minute drive from Eagle Aruba Resort, and from what we found, there are two small parking lots right off the road. We stopped at one the first day and tried the other the next day. We found a nice little pull off with some cabanas right on the water, so good access. Some people are snorkeling, so we're going to do the same thing. We're about to get into the water. Oh, it feels so good. It's so hot. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Alright, on three, let's go under. One, two, three. Immediately, even close to the shore with the water just barely above our knees, there were fish. Lots of silver fish, but then we started to see more colorful and interesting fish. I think we're gonna end up going down that way eventually. I think we have a good spot for our stuff. So, um, looks like this is good prime snorkeling territory. So we're gonna explore a little bit, both that way and that way. And if we see anything cool, I'll show you. There are lots of rocks and coral, which we found sea urchins and lots of fish hanging around. You can see the yellow and pink fern looking things disappear as Alex gets close. This is awesome! Yeah. Oh, all the coral and the different colored fish? Yeah! This needlefish was one of the bigger fish we saw. He was probably two and a half feet long, if we had to guess. This flounder camouflaged so well with the sand. I'm surprised we found it. I think Alex did a pretty good job of keeping up with it. Wow. It's an octopus. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. By the way, we're not touching any coral or wildlife. I am following them a little bit, but we're trying to not disturb their natural environment. Did you like it? Yeah. Oh, that was cool. It's our second full day in Aruba, 7.30 in the morning, and we're going back um, snorkeling today at a really cool spot that we found yesterday and we're stopping a little bit further down the shoreline. Look how bright it is already. So we're at an extension of the Boca Catalina Beach. It's really nice. There's a lot of rocky parts, which would be good for snorkeling, but there's also sand where you could get in and It'll be good because we'll kind of see our car from the water, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's go check it out. So we're gonna go in through here and snorkel all through the rocky spots. Yesterday that's where we saw lots of colorful fish and even a uh, octopus, which is really cool. So many different fish. I'm gonna grab the GoPro. We're gonna try to record some undersea life. You excited? Yeah. We're gonna go under the water. Under the sea. <laughs> the second day, at a spot a little further from our spot the day before, we got to see some pretty cool things. 
we found lots of schools of fish, some beautiful corals, and even had a surprise as we were getting ready to leave. Alex got some pretty cool shots swimming through the schools of fish. Wow. They're just all here. Really cool. so salty you can't sink even when you exhale which is annoying a little I should wait it's so deep it's probably 10 feet deep it doesn't feel like it at all I found a really pretty black one that starts yellow We were told that people bring bread or bananas to feed the fish. We didn't have any with us this time. Cool. So Sarah found an eel. That is so weird. So it's 9.30 now, we've been here for, I guess an hour and a half, and we're gonna go back and get breakfast, but this was so cool. We swam through schools of fish. There are so many like striped fish, and we ended the day seeing an eel right by the shore. It was awesome. So, yeah, this place is called, do you remember what it's called? It's an extension of the Boca Catalina Beach. So part of it's down there. And then there's another parking lot with the is down here. Yeah, but it's like super convenient because you can hop in right there. Um, there's like a sandy portion that you can walk out pretty far and then the corals start. Um, but it's really convenient because we parked right in this lot. Um, you could hang your stuff on under one of these cabanas uh, and just go and enjoy. And you know it's a good spot for snorkeling because you have the boats coming here to bring people to snorkel. That's right. Yeah, that was. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> 